Hello everyone, and today we're going to take a look at how to get Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 to run. Okay, get it to run in Steam and get it to run with 3D hardware acceleration so we can see you know, how good the game was. We don't run with software because by default it runs software and the method I'm going to show you doesn't involve downgrading drivers. It should work on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1. I don't know about Windows 10. doesn't say if it's supported or not. But I imagine it should work. I'm running Windows 7 because it's my last day running Windows 7. I'm ready to upgrade. And what we're going to do is we'll get the game running. And we'll get the game running with 3D hardware acceleration. So this, is, this method is compatible with AMD and NVIDIA cards. And you don't have to downgrade your graphics drivers in order to get this to work because that was one of the things you had to have catalyst 13.3 and nobody wants catalyst again we have crimson show you what we're running uh, uh it does need an update but i'm gonna wait a while so crit we are running what are we running that's not the right one where does it tell you which version system that's the one system there it is uh radeon software 16.4.1 we're using crimson why is this so small why is this small? Like it's bigger. There we go. So, you know, we, uh, we're running Crimson for this. So what you're going to need is you're going to need the DG Voodoo Wrapper. Uh, this one is, comes with a pre-patched EXE. So follow the link in the description. Take you to this website, which is the uh, Jedi Knight slash Mysteries of the Sith patch's website. Uh, they've got a lot of mods and things. We're not going to bother with mods, but this is what we're interested in here is DG Voodoo 2, JK. There's mods as well, which is Mysteries of the Sith. Now, what this does have is it has the uh, Voodoo uh, Voodoo wrapper for Jedi Knight. It has a pre-patched uh, Jedi Knight executable and everything else that we need to run it with the uh, Voodoo, the old uh, Voodoo FX graphics cards, the 3D FX cards that they don't, you know, no longer make. They were bought over by NVIDIA, so, you know, this works for both AMD and NVIDIA. Okay, I, I had issues with the direct draw wrapper as well on AMD. I found this method to work for me. So download uh, DG Voodoo JK. If you're doing uh, Mysteries of the Sith, this will work as well just download mysteries of the sith one uh but we're gonna focus on the jedi knight one so jk make sure you have it uh you should get a file that looks like this okay it is a zip file so unzip it i'm just gonna extract it here unzip it with your favorite uh unzip tool and you get a folder uh inside this folder are many files okay you've got a replacement uh jk.exe you've got a few DG Voodoo, Direct Draw, some DLLs that you're going to get here as well. Now, what we're going to do with these files is we are going to put them into our Jedi Knight uh, Dark Forces 2 install folder. Now, to find that, fairly easy, just find it in, find it in your Steam library, right-click it, go to Properties, okay, just go to Local Files right here, and just go to Browse Local Files. Okay, this will give you your location. I store mine in F slash Steam libraries at Steam app slash common slash Star Wars Jedi Knight. Yours may be stored someplace differently. Again, everyone likes uh, different things. Now, what we're going to do is put all of these files in here. Okay, let's put them all in. Uh, copy and replace. Do this for the five conflicts. We're just going to do that. And just to make sure that the uh, voodoo is working we're gonna run the voodoo setup okay just to make sure now what we want to see here is direct x 3d okay direct x 3d 11 the only rendering if this selector is pointless just make sure it's there though uh, if you're running windows 10 you might see d3d 12 or if you, i don't know if anyone's running direct x 10 if you're running windows vista you might see 10 or uh, who runs windows vista these days uh, really so, and we want the graphics adapter as well. Which video card? Uh, just make sure your video card is here. Mine's the R9390 series. And you don't need to touch anything else. You can just hit, if these are fine, just hit cancel. And that's, that's all you need to do with this. Ignore that. It's installed correctly. It's working. It's working fine. 
okay and then what we're gonna do is just fire up the game in steam all these files should be here this is fine just close that away you can close that off and we'll go to steam and we will fire up jedi knight dark forces 2 it runs in a window by default that's uh, that's how it's meant to run i believe we've got our skip the intro because don't want to get flagged for copyright make a user profile whatever and what we're going to do is go to the setup it's just down here setup and display now what we're going to do is make sure enable 3d hardware acceleration is enabled the view size make sure it's just below the max okay uh 3d hardware minimum texture size make it one uh back buffer make sure that's unchecked Okay, back buffer in system memory. No, we don't want that. We want to make sure that it is unchecked. And we want to go to the advanced tab here. Now, make sure that you see DG9 Voodoo. Okay, just make sure you see that. Um, I go for Direct 3D HAL. That's what I go for. Uh, I don't go for any of the software ones. Make sure it says hardware. Okay, HW hardware. Okay, these things, I wouldn't mess around with any of these things. Uh, but just make sure you see here the d3 D dg voodoo okay and make sure it's a uh, hardware that we're using okay so we don't want to be using software make sure the back buffer in system memory is disabled and leave that set at one okay maximum allowed texture dimension make sure it's set to one and then what you're going to do is you're going to pick your resolution for the sake of this we can use 1080p and we're going to hit okay okay and hit okay again so if we go back into our setup, we'll see here 3D hardware acceleration is enabled, 1080p, might as well, it's the maximum monitor size, pick what resolution you want, uh, make sure back buffer and system memory is disabled, and that is set to 1, so just hit OK, and hit OK again, now we go to the single player, start a new game, uh, this may go a bit wrong, I don't know, you'll see the cutscene, skip the cutscene, and then we'll see what happens here, and there we go. Okay, it works fine. We've got the uh, game with 3D hardware acceleration. There's this dude talking to us here. And we now have 3D hardware accelerated. It should work. Uh, how do we tell that it's working? Well, I've got MSI Afterburner here. Uh, it does adjust the brightness level if you press the same button. And you'll see here we're using D3D11. And we are using the GPU here. I'm just going to uh, shoot a bunch of these dudes. I don't know, I might be a bit loud. Apologies if it is a bit loud. Get out of my bar. That dude. There's a, there's a gun behind there and there's some ammo up here that we don't want to miss. Just don't want to miss that kind of thing. So there you go. Uh, that is how to get Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 running with 3D hardware acceleration. We're running at 1080p obviously uh the game looks a hell of a lot better i could show you it's software rendered you don't want to know in fact we i don't think we can actually I'll, I'll try and get it software rendered see if it won't crash if this crashes um disable that uh we'll pick a pick a resolution can we pick 1080p i don't know if it'll work it may crash here if we return the game and we show you software rendering it may well crash actually yeah, it's going to crash. Uh, yeah, the D3D is not working. Uh, software rendering doesn't work with this mod. But who wants software rendering? So anyway, that is all this video. Let's see if we can get back to our, back to our desktop, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Task manager, there we go. Uh, Jedi Knight main executable has stopped working. There we go. Uh, so there you go. That is all for this video. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again soon.